This is me putting a speaker on a beaver stem because apparently the sound of running water triggers them to build. And because I don't believe everything I see on the internet, I wanted to test it myself. Little did I know that this would be the most challenging yet also rewarding journey that I've been on. But first, I'll have to find beavers. I found a first sign, but I don't think they're here anymore. I found another one, but this is only like half a dam. It looks like it's been destroyed. And as I continued to scan for any signs of beaver activity, I noticed more and more destroyed dams. So the next day, I decided to head out to a different location. And I found many signs that indicated that beavers had to be near. But still, no beavers in sight. Until I found this. I've just found a beaver lodge. I'll see, there's an even better look from here. Wow. And then I found one of the many dams they've built. So the pipe you can see in the middle of the dam is a method to prevent flooding. It allows the water to flow through without destroying their dams. So beavers can still maintain their pond. I know that beavers can cause a lot of issues, especially for farmers. This is a cool solution that respects both farmers and beavers, both interests, I guess. I have a camera trap that I want to put up because I need to know where <laughs> I need to know where I can find them for the next thing I have planned. And then I found a good spot where I could put up my camera trap. So I've set the camera up right here. It's facing the beaver pond. The camera is set up. Yay! I'm gonna check on it tomorrow morning and see if we got some beaver activity. I really hope so. The next morning I checked the camera, but unfortunately it didn't record anything. So I moved it to a slightly different location and left it there for a couple of days. And while the camera did record ducks, actually many, many ducks, it also recorded this at midnight. But I needed more proof than one video in almost a week. So I decided to cross the river and look for a spot where beavers likely go. I found a place to cross and I, I came prepared. On the other side of the river, I noticed all these small waterways that the beavers created. As beavers can move much quicker in the water than on land, they use these canals to safely transport food and building materials back to their lodge. These waterways also help retain water during dry periods and are often a hotspot for biodiversity. Getting to the other side of the river was extremely difficult as everything was overgrown. And turns out my boots didn't work so well either. But at least I found the perfect place to set up my camera. So I can't put my camera on my tripod anymore because I broke this thing here. It doesn't go on anymore. So now I improvised. 
Now I just gotta figure out how I can put the stick somewhere safely so it doesn't tip over. Okay, so I just dug it in the mud here. I hope, I really hope. This is kind of stable. <laughs> I hope this works. Oh my god. And it sure did work. That's when I knew for sure there were beavers here, and I could start my experiment. But in order to conduct my little study, I had to record the sound of running water first. In the 1960s, a scientist named Wilson tested what triggers the building behavior in beavers, and she found out that the sound of running water alone can trigger a beaver's instinct to build. Now, obviously, he tested this with multiple sounds and interestingly he also found out that beavers had the same reaction to the sound of an electric razor. They did not react to constant tones though so a sound like they did not show a reaction to that. Wilson tested this on captive beavers. I want to see how wild beavers react to it. Those experiments are called playback experiments, and they are actually done quite often in behavioral biology. Because, as you can imagine, it is quite simple. Because you can test the reaction of animals to certain sounds. For example, you can test how animals would react to a tiger without a tiger needing to be there. Okay, so today is the day of the experiment. So just to quickly explain, here's the beaver pond. And to the right is one of the main dams that you can see. The beavers build many dams, but this one is the one that keeps in most water. And behind there is the beaver lodge. I have my doubts that this will work though, because there's already a leak in the dam and it's been there for a couple of weeks and the beavers haven't fixed it. So, I'm kind of skeptical that they will fix my artificial leak because why would they fix an artificial leak that is just sound and it's not real when there's a real leak and they haven't fixed it. So I don't know why they haven't fixed it. Maybe the water levels are high enough here in the pond so it's not as important and foraging is more important. Okay, I'm excited. Let's set up the speaker and start the experiment. Okay, the speaker is placed, now I'm just going to connect my phone to it, play the running water sound and go hide so the beavers don't see me. Since I couldn't put my camera on a tripod anymore, I borrowed a camera trap from a friend for the experiment. And then I sat there and waited. And waited even more. And this was really frustrating, because I knew they were here because the water was moving all the time, but they didn't want to come to the surface. I'm not even surprised, because beavers can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes. But eventually, I got lucky.
but the speaker still untouched. Then this beaver came, and he swam in the direction of the speaker. But then he just stopped and stared at me. It was getting dark, so I decided to end the experiment here and check on the speaker. And I found no beaver activity anywhere near it. As I was getting ready to leave, the beavers got scared and gave me almost a heart attack. Let me tell you, their tail slap is loud. Obviously, to really find out what's going on, I would have to test it multiple times, maybe place the speaker on different locations, vary the volume of the running water sound, and test it at multiple times throughout the day. But I think it still showed that it's not like beavers hear the sound of running water and they come rushing immediately, like it's often portrayed. I think it's more complicated than that, and beavers are smarter, they can assess situations. 